Well, to be candid, I can really only think of one lasting impact. Uh, you know, we did bounce back from 9-11 very quickly from a business standpoint. But the one thing that has endured over 20 years and has been reinforced by climate events, whether they be hurricanes or floods, this pandemic that we've lived through in the last year and a half is risk management. Uh, today, uh, shareholders, stakeholders and companies are demanding that boards and senior management uh, assess all of the potential risks that can affect a business. And when I say assess, people want them to do two things. They want to first indicate how likely is this risk to happen? And secondly, how big of an impact could it have on the business? And then after you do the assessment, what these people want is to know that you've taken steps to mitigate these risks. So for instance, if there is a risk that is really likely to happen, then you had better do a backup plan of some sort. If it's unlikely to happen, but could dramatically affect the business, you're going to have to mitigate that risk as well. The only risks you don't have to deal with are highly unlikely events that really wouldn't affect you in any big way. And this is something that is being demanded. If a board is not doing this, if they cannot show their risk management plan to shareholders and stakeholders, uh, they won't be on that board for very long. And that's, that's been the big thing, not specifically from 9-11, but from all of the different things that we've seen over the last 20 years, that's the biggest artifact.